Alright guys, today we're back on the Golden Ridge Reserve on Call of the Wild the Angler and on this occasion I'ma show you some of the diamonds I had the luck to catch in the last few days as well as all the amazing locations where I happened to get such trophies. I didn't discover any of these locations myself, so the credit goes to whoever posted them first on the official server. Okay, finally decent lake trout, it forced us to lower the drag, so I guess it might be diamond because it is way heavier than any of the silvers we have got so far, or maybe a huge gold, we'll see. Now as for the fishing technique I've been using on this location, what seems to be the most efficient way to catch lake trout is to use a number 2 worm on a bait casting setup, make sure to cast out as far as possible and then let it sink to the bottom while jigging, just jig all the way down, and once you reach the bottom, just keep jigging there for about 10 seconds without reeling in because it is possible that you will get a bite at that point. However, if you don't get a bite, what I would recommend you is to start reeling into a surface at about a 2 speed while still jigging, and once the lure is halfway through, maybe about 25 meters away from the boat, you can repeat the process, let it sink again, and maybe you'll get a bite either while the lure is sinking or on the way back. Now we're about to land this monster, the tension is quite promising, so I wonder if it is a small diamond. Maybe. Look at that beast. And it is a gold, 15.34 kilos. It is actually quite close to diamonds, since as far as I know the diamond weight is around 16, so it is a very nice catch to begin the day, I'm sure it won't be the biggest. Oh! Holy! What do we have here? I feel it is putting more tension than the gold. I wonder if this one is actually diamond, it is massive. Most likely a small diamond in case it is, but a diamond is a diamond. I really can't wait to see how heavy this guy is. Come on. Is it a diamond? Yes, it is a diamond. 17.22 kilograms. Our second diamond leg trout. What a catch. One of my favorite species in the game, they may not be the heaviest diamond, but they are definitely the one that looks the biggest. And actually this one is a very small diamond, so they can get significantly larger than this. Way larger. Alright, this one is also heavy, eh? This one is also very heavy, although maybe not enough to be diamond. Yeah, in fact it probably won't be even close. Eleven point sixty nine. That's a gold. Small gold. At least it's good to see that the golds and the diamonds are finally starting to appear because we spent literally more than an hour catching only silvers. All right, bite on the one out. We got a bite on the one out, and it is huge. It is huge. Holy. Seems like we have another diamond here. Roughly two hours after the last one, on the same spot but on a different server. And seemingly it is way heavier than the first one, eh? Actually, it may be our new personal best. Our current biggest was barely above 19 kilos. So it shouldn't be too hard to beat it. Let's see the weight, we're about to land it. It is undoubtedly diamond, so the only question is how heavy is it? What a monster. Nineteen point eighty four kilos. Our new biggest lake trout. Our new personal best. Wow. I mean it's impressive. Looks impressive, the model is gigantic. For example, if you compare it with the model of the African sharp tooth catfish, which is currently the heaviest species in the game, it's easy to notice that these guys are actually quite longer, regardless weighing like 10 kilos less. So I'ma show you the location here on the map. 
essentially all this area on this lake, all around here. And as I mentioned earlier, what I recommend you is to cast all around the boat as far as possible using a number 2 worm on a jig head spinning rig. And I definitely recommend you to use the technique I shown you earlier on which right after casting out you let the lure sink to the bottom while jigging literally all the time. And if you don't get a bite after jigging for about 10 seconds in the bottom, then you can try to start reeling the lure in at about a 2 speed while jigging through the whole process until it is at a distance of about 20 to 25 meters away from the boat, which is where I would recommend you to let it sink again to the bottom and repeat the whole process. Now you gotta keep in mind that even though this is often regarded as one of the best if not the best method to catch lake trout, it still can be slow a lot of times. I definitely wouldn't expect to get a bite on every single cast, so it's very important to be patient and just keep catching silvers and golds until hopefully you get a diamond. Oh, we got it well. Maybe our first diamond of the day, and maybe the third diamond lake trout we get on this spot. In fact, it is taking significantly more line than anything we have got so far here. It's definitely looking like a diamond. A big diamond. I would expect it to be our new personal best, and undoubtedly above 20 kilos. Come on. He's finally getting tired. He's on the 20s now. It is still giving us a bit of fight, but it is finished. We are gonna land it in a few seconds. How heavy are you? Man, that's a monster, look at that! Oh wow! 22.15 kilos! What a giant! Our biggest lake trout so far. And it is actually not too far from the current record, which as far as I remember is 23 kilos. It barely fits on the screen. That's a big one. That's a really big trout, maybe the first diamond we get here. Well, the tension was a bit disappointing, not gonna lie. And it is only gold, 7.23 kilos. It is a big gold, and actually the first decent thing I catch on this location. Took a while. I see a giant. It is close to that rock over there. And there it comes. Look at the size of that rainbow. Okay. I think it is gonna be close to diamond based on the tension. And it is a diamond, 9.12 kilos. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. It is heavy. Like after seeing the initial tension, I really thought it was gonna be either a big old or a small diamond, but it ended up being a big diamond. And by the way, I'm currently using a 7.5 kilo line, so I think I'm gonna swap to a 5 kilo line because these big boys are barely giving us any fight with our current setup. Now I'm gonna show you the spot on which we're fishing at the moment. This pond right here, it is a very small pond between these two waterfalls, and I gotta say it is a particularly good spot for rainbow trout simply due to the fact that there are many of them on such a small location. So as for the setup, what I recommend you using here is a number 6 spinner or a number 6 spoon on a bait casting setup, and apart from that the only thing you can do is to catch as many bronzes and silvers as you can until hopefully a gold or a diamond spawn, which may take a while because in my experience the rainbow trout is a rare diamond. Oh my god, look at the size of that one. Is it what I think it is? Very nice tension. And it is only gold, no way. It is only gold, I really thought it was gonna make it. Really thought it was gonna be diamond, but it's only like half a kilo shy from it. Oh. That's some serious tension. We had to lower the drag for literally the first time since I started using this 5 kilo line. This guy is seemingly the heaviest trout we have hooked since we got the diamond. Might be the second. Come on. 
It didn't give us much fight even on the 5 kilo line. And finally, another diamond. 8.46 kilos. About time. Thousands of fish after the first diamond on this place, we finally have the second. I mean, obviously you won't see how many silvers and golds I got between this one and the first one, but man, they were a lot. A lot of rainbows. No shot. It didn't look that big. The tension is comparable with the tension of the last diamond, it also forced us to lower the drag. So I would say it's likely we're about to catch another diamond rainbow trot. Let's see. 8.95 kilos, another diamond. Another diamond roughly one hour and a half after the last one. On the same session. Luckily this time it didn't take us as long to get this guy, but I gotta say that this session was quite loaded. We got a lot of goals and it's usually not like that. Now I gotta say that based on my experience fishing on this location, based on the several hours I've spent here, one of the things I've noticed is that most of the big trouts tend to spawn close to a shore, on these shallower areas. So maybe put a special emphasis there. What is that? Is that a kokane? No, I don't think it is a kokane, I think it is a trout. A cutthroat trout. And it is a giant. How heavy? 4.29 kilos, it is a colt. The first colt I catch on this location. Ooh, that's a monster, is that a rainbow? No way. It is actually another giant cutthroat trout. Another monster. Maybe a diamond, let's see. 5.5 kilos, it is a diamond. Not a huge diamond, but luckily it made it. We are currently alternating between a number 6 spinner and a number 6 spoon, which are both great options because they are gonna let you catch everything from silver to diamond of the vast majority of species that inhabit this place. You know what's crazy about this area, around this marker, is that it is a known diamond location for four different species, which are the cutthroat trout, the rainbow trout, the kokanee salmon, and the brook trout. So definitely casting out all around this area will give you a decent chance to catch one of these diamonds, and possibly all four of them if you spend enough time here. Is that a salmon? I think it is a big salmon. Yeah. A gold, 1.7 kilos. Not too bad. We know it is possible to get a diamond of this species here, so we simply gotta keep trying and maybe, just maybe, we'll get a diamond at some point. Oh, this one is a big brook trout, eh? I thought it was a cut trout, but no. Are you a diamond? Please be diamond. And it is only a gold. A really big gold. 3.09 kilos. Holy. So close from making diamond, since if I'm not mistaken, the diamond weight is something like 3.15. Is that what I think it is? I don't wanna get my hopes up too much, but that definitely looks like a gigantic coconut salmon. Yeah. Look at how big it is. Wow. 2.63 kilos. Huge diamond with a diagonal camera angle. Exactly what I wanted to find here, a big salmon. Actually, I just went to check the community records on the official The Angler Discord, and the current record for the Kokanee Salmon is 2.7 kilos. So this guy is only 70 grams shy from it. What an amazing catch. What do we have here? It is taking line. 
Whatever it is must be big. Seems to be a hoary trout, which from what I can tell doesn't look that big. It is big, but it's not diamond kind of big, you know? Let's see. 4.05 kilos, it is the gold. Finally something relatively big, we had to catch something like, I don't know, 30 silvers perhaps? So we gotta keep trying because this is a known diamond location for both hoary trout and golden trout. Oh, this one is heavy, eh? I didn't have time to see what it was, but I think it is another hoary trout. Maybe bigger than the first one, let's see. Yeah, look at that, that is a big boy. How heavy is it? Is it a diamond? Well, it is not a diamond, it's only gold, with a weight of 4.34 kilos, bigger than the first one at least. We are getting closer to that diamond weight, we gotta keep trying. Man, there's a giant right here, eh? Right at my feet. Wow. I don't know for how long he's been there, but I'm really glad we haven't moved in a while since the most minimal movement at this distance can easily spook him. And telling from the size, this guy is undoubtedly the biggest hoary trout we have seen so far on this place. Yeah, it's gonna be close to diamond, that's some nice tension. Come on. Please make it. And there we have it, it's a diamond. 5.1 kilos, barely diamond. Barely. This is honestly a very nice looking species. In fact, I would say it is my favorite of the trout species present in the game after the lake trout and the brook trout. Also, we know it is possible to get a diamond golden trout on this pond, so I wanna keep trying because so far I've only gotten one and it was actually quite small. Alright, so before we conclude this video, I'ma show you the spot on which I just caught this diamond hoary trout, and this is the location right here. This pond. Within this pond, the diamonds can spawn as far as I'm concerned pretty much anywhere, so it is up to you to decide where to stand, since it doesn't matter too much. And the only thing I would recommend you in order to have a certain chance to catch both diamonds is to use a hook size number 5 with redworm on a float setup. You could also try with something different like a number 9 spinner letting it sink about 5 meters, but in my experience it is not as consistent as the redworm. So it is just a matter of testing out both options and see what works better for you. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today's video, if you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to support the video, and please consider subscribing to the channel to receive the notifications for all the upcoming guides. So with that said, thank you for watching, and see you next time.